the New York Knicks quest to go out and sign more role players to the team is just intensified with it currently actually being reported that the New York Knicks are interested in potentially signing Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Uh, this is all being reported by a New York Post and Mark Berman. Now, I definitely don't know how to really kind of feel about this one. I mean, look, come on now. Like, it's not like... I, I know that role players are extremely, you know, valuable into the, you know, in the league, but whatever ha happened to, you know, Michael Kidd Gilchrist? Like, he was drafted to the Charlotte Bobcats at pick number two in 2012. You know, again, Bobcats turning into the Hornets. He was drafted to be a, you know, nice defender that can, you know, potentially be a nice leader for the team. Or as that's what he was kind of, you know, seen to potentially be. But again, the Hornets would definitely have their time back again. I feel like as they did actually take Michael Kidd Gilchrist over Bradley Beal, who was taking a pick three. Uh, Damian Lillard at pick six. Harrison Barnes at pick seven. Even Terrence Ross at pick eight. And Andre Drummond at pick nine. What a weird, you know, again, selection. I, I still, you know, remember seeing that. Yes, killed Gilchrist was really rated, you know, coming into the draft, but there were definitely warning signs, like especially his jump shot, which he still struggles with, you know, on this time. So, again, I think it's very interesting that the New York Knicks are kind of interested in a player like Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Believe it or not, he is only 27 years of age. And again, I would probably ask most of you guys what team who, you know, what team he is playing for. Half of you guys would probably say he's, you know, still playing with the Hornets. Some of you guys might say he's not even in the league anymore. Believe it or not, he actually did play for the Dallas, um, you know, Mavericks. I believe he did play the last couple of games. Yeah, the last 13 games, I believe, of the season before, you know, COVID did actually happen. He averaged 9.3 minutes per game where he scored uh, 0.9 points per game and 2.5 rebounds. So not exactly the greatest stat. And he's probably not a player that the Dallas Mavericks are going to be really rushing either to try and sign back. Yes, he still is a quality defender and I still feel like would be a decent player, you know, for a lot of teams. And again, a lot of teams would definitely value him. So I'm not saying he's a bad player at all. Uh, I just don't really know how I feel about him as I haven't really seen much of him for the last, you know, couple of years as, again, he had a little bit of a kind of sh quiet end to his career with the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, in the 2018-19 season, he only played about 18 minutes per game where he did, he only started three games that season. The next season, he only played the 12 games of the Hornets on 13 minutes per game. And I believe that was because he couldn't crack into their um, team from Remembrance. I don't. Really, I think he might have had a couple of injuries here and there, but from Remembrance, it was mainly because he couldn't get into the rotation. At Dallas, he played a little bit, but I believe that could have been you know a couple of injuries here and there. Dwight Powell was missed quite a bit of time. I think Porzingis was starting to get injured towards the end of the season. Hey, that's probably why he mainly got the minutes. He's more of like an 11, for, you know, to 15th man in a rotation now. But considering the New York Knicks are, you know, in a quest to kind of compete and rebuild at the same time, I feel like he would be an interesting player to go out and sign. For example, there was a lot of rumors that if the Knicks were to hire Tom Thibodeau, they would go out and get Chris Paul as well. Well, we've seen that the Knicks have hired Tom Thibodeau. It is still very highly rumored that the Knicks are the favorite to get Chris Paul. Whether you guys like it or not, again, a lot of people have different opinions on it. Um, I've expressed it in a lot of different videos. Uh, Chris Paul to the Knicks, I think, would be an okay idea. And I think would be pretty interesting. As he can definitely persuade and, you know, you know, again, influence other players to potentially join the Knicks. We've heard that DeMar Rosen is highly interested. We've heard Carmelo Anthony actually wants to return to New York and play with Chris Paul. We've heard that uh, Victor Oladipo might have a slight bit of interest. Gallinari is very interested, and Christian Wood. And there's definitely other role players out there here and there, like Taj Gibson, Reggie Bullock, who may want to come back. Um, again, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, who might come to the team. Justin Holiday, I believe, is very interested. So, again, they could definitely get all these veteran role players to all-star caliber players while keeping a young core. They'll still have Frank Nilekina, RJ Barrett, Mitchell Robinson, whoever they take at pick eight. Dennis Smith Jr., if they do keep him, which I'm not too sure about, and a couple other younger players here and there, especially if they re-sign players like Alfred Payton back. So, 
Again, they will most likely be able to rebuild on the run while kind of contending. So I feel like it could be a very interesting one. And again, one of the aspects on why Michael Gilchrist was actually signed, uh, drafted to the Hornets was it was reported, I believe, he had great leadership. Um, you know, for a young age. So, again, if he's still rated as a great leader, him coming in and being able to develop these, you know, five or so plus young players that the Knicks do currently have on the roster could definitely be very nice for the New York Knicks and something that would be pretty cool as well. So, again, it may be one of those low-key signings, one that you don't really expect or care about, but could actually be pretty important in the long run as he can definitely provide quick and nice defense for the team, and obviously maybe some nice leadership here and there as well. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think the New York Knicks should sign Michael Kidd Gilchrist to the team? Do you guys think that they should potentially not? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, Emma IRL slash Long Channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.